Mr. Stem Player is what I call him. He he he's he been in the news a lot, low key. Dropped the album and Stem has, he, has he really been low key? <laughs> it's high key. Yeah, it's really, I, stand, every day. I stand corrected. It's no, something every day. About every I stand day. corrected. I stand corrected. Uh, but I don't know if you guys saw the easy video with the uh, are they clay maybe clay characters claymation claymation of Pete Davidson and he's dragging him to like a, a grave and he buries him. Uh, Kanye Great has guy. been getting some <laughs> he's been getting some flat uh, about the imagery for this video and Kanye said art is not a proxy for any ill or harm uh, as it relates to that easy video. I saw it. We've already talked about the record, but I saw the video. What do you guys think about that? Because art is, has always been just a form of expression and, you know, people are entitled to do what they want to do from an art standpoint. But with that comes criticism. It's a public, once you release it out to the public, people are going to react. Uh, is this something where you guys feel like people are gassing this or should it be taken serious? And I'm asking this based off their history, everything that's led up to this point with the divorce and how he's been wilding in the media. Uh, is this being overblown and Kanye should just be able to do his art? How do y'all feel about that? Jay Diff, I'll come to you first. I mean, I'm a little indifferent on it, to be honest with you, because, um, for example, we just said it's claymation, right? Right. There was a TV show called Celebrity Deathmatch that literally used to kill every celebrity. Good point. And there was not a problem then. Uh, fast forward to now, uh, amidst all the controversy or or might even be fake controversy. I mean, his ex-wife has a TV show, a, a reality show that she has to sell as well. So who this all could be scripted True. for all I care. But... <clears throat> I'm I'm kind of with him a little bit as far as it being not a proxy for any ill harm mm -hmm. uh, because it seems like in today's society, everybody's sensitive about literally everything when it comes, especially when it comes to hip hop, as long as it serves them. I agree. So you don't care about when anybody's talking about killing people that look like Kanye. Like if he, mm -hmm. if, if it was a Kodak black song or, or another song where somebody's talking about shooting people up and it's on the radio, that's not a problem. But if we're talking about a claymation character being buried and flowers growing out of his head, oh, now we got a problem. You you can't do Pete like that. Oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's fair game. You know, I think I think there's just a different stigma around it when it's like. Like two people like that, specifically, mm -hmm. you're like legitimately naming somebody mm -hmm. and it's visual. I think the visual part is different than just the music. Well, a lot of people talk rappers talk about smoking on such and such that got killed. And we see how that we albums, see that how that's worked out. We see how it worked, worked out, out, but bad. they're but it's cool to the media because what? they're putting this, these songs on the radio and any other uh, source that you can access it, and it's not a problem. That's my issue with it. It's like that stuff is is cool. That's fine and dandy, uh, but you want to police this particular video so more so because it's Kanye too. Because I don't know, I, I see them as different. I I think it's different types of pieces of art. One thing is like going out of your way to legitimately like make a claymation and one i don't care about this at all i don't even have an issue with it but i think it is different um like versus have a the piece, rap lyrics yeah just, okay. just straight lyrics then i think you know just like trump or snoop did it with did, was it snoop that did it with trump uh oh yeah oh you yeah, know a while yeah, ago we, we i feel i feel like that's yeah. different than just like straight lyrics or when you add the visual element and you're like targeting somebody specifically like that i feel like it's a little bit different i personally don't have an issue with it but i do feel like it's different i think what uh what terry is saying as it relates to the inconsistency that make it that's something that can be I mean, that's something even, that could be talked about even with killer mike uh ronald reagan with the ronald reagan yeah. song yeah. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. yeah there there might have been a small little peep of something that went yeah. on there but i mean he was legit pissed off on that song for sure yes. and it had a visual to go with it yes yeah but at, again at the same time we're talking about being mad at trump and ronald reagan versus being mad at somebody who's on saturday night live yeah who's with your ex and you're salty because he's not with you anymore i don't know i feel like it's different but mm -hmm. i i get it but i mean it would be but i mean at the same time this is Kanye. If you've watched his documentary, he literally said after his first album, he was in character from now on. So some wow. of it's probably fact and some of it's probably character. I don't know. I noticed that too. Uh, good point. I, we, I've talked to you all. 
by me finally watching it. And he did. I, I've never heard him say that or seen a video of him saying I, that. And so. even if he said I wouldn't believe him because he doesn't, he changes his mind. He in might change. 30 seconds anyway. <laughs> right, That's right. True. That's true. Very good point. Uh, Jay Moore, what are your thoughts? On, on Kanye's that can't be the one thing he's just he's consistent. But, but I what, what are your thoughts on the art, man? Pete Davidson and and how Kanye has been uh, has been re how he's been received. I just think it's lame. I think okay. the whole thing is lame. You know, especially you know you have um, you know these feelings towards this individual, but you you you, you out here dating, fam? Like <laughs> like oh, that's you true. you are you know you've been consistently embarrassing your family and your children. Um, wow, you know, but this is this seems to be. But the, Kanye is in a, in a in a place I think mentally and um, <laughs> creatively where he he doesn't care um, about how things really affect other people. So we're gonna see more stuff like this. You know, um, after watching you know the the first part of the Kanye doc. You know, you see how Mose and Quali, how they really looked out for him and really showed him love. Yeah. And for him, and then like for him, when I when I watch back that part of Drink Champs, it just literally makes me sick. Yes, yeah, whack. I um, agree with that a hundred percent. Just and yeah. I think that um, you know, I, it, every every you know, I have that one little three second clip from a show maybe when when Donda came out. It was like, well, Kanye's always been kind of a terrible person, and every week he does something to where I'm like, mm, this is evergreen content. Just this three seconds because. You know, between sending a, a truck full of roses to his, his, his wife and, you know, and the, the Pete Davidson thing, I think is I just think it's corny. I'm not really worried for Pete Davidson's well-being. I just think it's corny, man. That's a part of the you narrative. Know, it's like, you know, I, I think <clears throat> there's a way, you know, when you when you're going through things with your significant other or former significant other, like you should move in such an emotional way. You know, like there has to be a part of you that says I have to own what's happening here like this isn't anyone else's like your woman got tired of you you know what i'm saying like it's not that she did something wrong or pete did something wrong your woman got tired of you fam and like you're taking that out on the rest of the world with all like you're making it seem like uh, you know the the parts of donda 2 that i've listened to are uh, some of it the songs that are finished i like those but some of it is just unhinged Mike, I can't believe my kids are wearing Nikes. Like, I was like, family, <laughs> Doug, do you realize people got real problems out here? Five dollar gas. Yeah. You know what I'm $7 saying? Seven dollar gas. And you out here talking about like if you really got an issue like that, you know, find some underprivileged kids and send them some of the moon boots that you got out here. You know, don't talk to me about your kids wearing Nikes and how that's emotionally uh um hurting you. Like I'm I'm just I'm it hurts me to see somebody I, I really liked uh I, you know, I didn't know him as a person, but at least as an artist, turned into such a cornball. Here's my thing, though. Let me—I I guess this will be devil's advocate, somewhat. I don't have children, but I feel where he comes from when he speaks on not being able to see his children, and they play him about the birthday parties, and he's not be being invited. He's not—he's not being, I guess, consulted would be a word about you know what north does as it relates to lipstick on tiktok and all that as a father from the outside looking at it, i'm looking at it from a, from a standpoint where he could have he could have those gripes because he still wants mm. to be involved in his children's lives so i'm not mad at that part now the goofy stuff that you're talking about the corny stuff I agree with that, it's but I do think it's there's public. But see, this is this is, is that is that what it, is if, that if what he, you're saying? He cares as much about his children. What's his his antics? These are things that could be held against you in court. Like that's where I'm also like somebody needs to grab it. Somebody who really loves him right. needs to grab his phone and say, "Stop taking screen captures of the interactions you have." He with said, your family. It, that is that is him that's posting." But, but and, <laughs> right, and then right, what right, does right. he do? My screen. He puts up the thing. My screen has not been. Ha yeah. You know, this yeah. is me. You know, Go, I'm just, like I said. He's moving in such a corny, childish, emotional it, it matter that this is this is eventually going to hurt him in a way that I don't think he understands. I don't want Lone to lose. What you said it's public. I just heard you say it's public. You were talking uh, about the things that he's doing is public. Yeah. I was talking about the children. And yeah, it's public. I mean, it's not like he's having a conversation. He's upset about this stuff on like a, a level, you know, like he's, I don't know. It's, it's I, I just agree with Jay. I don't know how, how what else to really say. Like, he's just oh, super corny. Be. Like, if you have these issues, I understand that he's lived in the spotlight for so long and all this stuff. Like, I get that aspect of it, but yeah. <laughs> All this other stuff is just super extra. Like, and he wants is, us and to I'm care not, so I'm much. I'm not saying. We just, like, we got, I, look, I got real problems, Kanye. 
Yeah, I got yeah, real problems. And, and I, I can't I don't care. bring myself to care or advocate for you Bro, when you're moving in such a corny kids. manner. Go, no. yeah, jump, jump <laughs> I'm not even saying that that I'm I'm thinking what he's doing is, is cool. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying if we're gonna compare apples and apples, then we need to do that rather than uh let's poke at Kanye because he's Kanye mm-hmm. and he's he's an easy scapegoat right now because he's living reckless. So <sighs> let me ask you this though, Terry. Is it that is it new. to to no, your point? Not. To your point about this, the easy scapegoat, what happens when the scapegoat brings some of this attention onto himself? I mean, it's not always like it's not, bring the it's not like people himself. are throwing darts but at his him whole off GP. family. You listen, his his in laws are all about attention. His wife literally got on from a sex tape. True, Kanye is the same way. But he, he does. Is. That's attention. why he matches with that whole situation. So when they're talking about you're putting my business out in the street. You've been putting your business out in the street on keeping up with the Kardashians got for the married past 15 on years. You got married <laughs> right. on the E-Network. So, right, yeah, right. I'm, I'm really cool off that whole narrative as far as That's he's fair. the only one putting stuff out there because your whole family is eating off pretty much having cameras in your face forever. Right. Okay. That's fair. That. That's I fair. I'm not mad at that. <laughs> I'm not mad. I mean, it's and all cool. Pete, I'm not. I'm not Pete was, he said it was hysterical that he was in the video. He's not even tripping. I don't, well, no, because he knows that's going to eat Kanye West up. He wants him to trip. Yeah, I don't think he Pete, wants him to Pete trip. Pete just doesn't come across as a dude that cares. No, like I don't that. think he cares. Yeah, because you know what? Uh, he's with Kim Kardashian right now. <laughs> I didn't even so, know Pete Davidson like that. So I thought he was funny. Like he did. Yeah, he did a movie out last year. I thought it was pretty good with Bill Burr. Um, he had the uh, West of King of Staten, Staten Island. Island. Yeah. I thought that was cool. Little I flip. saw him. In I, of, I think he's funny on Saturday Night Live. So. I saw him in one of the SNL skits with Chappelle. That was funny, but I didn't know too much about him. Yeah, but you know much about a lot. Yeah, that's yeah, that's right. So, <laughs> <laughs> but nah, man, I, it's talk. You gotta call a spade a spade, man. I, I appreciate. Yeah, it. I don't have any advice for Kanye West. Just J. Diff is a resident. Kanye look, ain't Kanye, ain't Kanye fan. fan. No, he, he doesn't care. No, he do, he wouldn't take advice from me even no, if I, he was sitting nah. right there. We talked about it on the genius genius. Uh, he wouldn't take advice from himself. We talked about it on the he is doc- on a documentary how his surround- I told you who I am. <laughs> <laughs> his surroundings changed from episode one to three. Yeah, the types of people that were around him did not mirror anything after, that were around him in that his first mama episode. Passed, yes, me honestly, I think he didn't grieve properly. I, he I never agree. grieved the passing of his mom. He just worked. I agree, and decided to come up with all these other ideas and was ranting and getting drunk and snatching people's spotlights and things like that. You know what I'm saying? He I, never really grieved properly. I knew that that had an impact on him, but I didn't know it was like that until it was illustrated for me in a documentary. Yeah. The the polar opposite and how he changed. I had to see it, I guess, just to drive the point home, but completely different. She literally was his moral compass. If yes. you notice in that documentary, whenever he would kind of go left, mm-hmm. yeah, she would pull him back just so, by pretty much uh, letting him know you're doing good. It's okay. Remember when this happened, Kanye? Like, re- you know what I'm saying? Kind of. It's really the only time he just shut up. Yeah. That's what I was about to say. You know, and it's just like, shut up. How many he times did. do you see him just sitting there listening to someone? Right. He doesn't do that anymore. Right. Yeah. And his mom had complete control. He, you can catch it. You can catch him doing that. But you always can see like a look on his face like he's listening. Waiting just, to respond. He's right. well, Yeah. Waiting to respond. But also like he... He's just he's doing it out of like a courtesy, like he's not actually right. listening. Yeah. So, but when his mom when his mom had the floor, actually, he was all he kinda of, kinda of seemed the same way when his mom was talking to, so I don't but, know. But but I feel like he was more attentive from what I he saw. Probably he was. was. You he know probably what I mean? Was. Yeah, I, I would say he was. Documentary is dope, by the way, and, and shout out to uh his homie Cootie. I already got paid thirty mil or him and his his partner. So Night, what you say, uh, JD? If that's a nice long term investment, there, yes, sir. That's that's playing the long game. I saw someone say, uh, on Twitter, it's like, Look, I'm gonna start uh, videotaping my homies, even if they are trash. Just <laughs> <not okay. laughs> Got everybody still on tape. Think about this, man. Think about having footage of not more than a game when LeBron was they did that movie when he was in high school, but think about having footage of LeBron. Nobody cares about LeBron. You okay, always... let's do Kobe. Uh, think about having footage of Kobe in Italy when he's playing and he's young and they move back to the States and then they go all the way up to him working out through Lower Marion and draft it. Could y'all imagine what that documentary would be if they had Kobe footage that far back? Yeah, man, just like Kanye's. You think it'd be as good? Might be better. Nah, it would definitely be just as good. I mean, you remember I'm Come with Fly With Me, Michael Jordan. Remember when that came out? I do, on VHS. Yeah. Yes. 
And that wasn't even as in depth. Oh, not like no this. Way. Nah. But um, yeah. These new kids today, they gonna have that footage though. Facts. That's the thing. Everybody's got a camera now, mm-hmm. you know. 